Got one on the hook setter. I got a double. I got a double right here. Got one on the hook setter. Yep, I got a double. Holy crap, this is crazy. <laughs> Catching catfish and shooting off fire. This is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Backroads Angling. It is again bright and early in the morning, per usual. And I am staying with some relatives in Nebraska. And it just so happens that they have this nice little pond in the backyard. I'm going to try and catch whatever's in that pond. I think I'm going to start out trying to catch some catfish. And um, actually yesterday I saw some... Uh, bass hanging out in a little drainage ditch over there off the pond, so I think I might try and catch some of those. I got my fly rod, so that might be the a really good chance to use my fly rod to catch those. I'm going to get my stuff ready, catch some bait, and throw in for catfish. All right, thanks for watching Backroads Angling. Let's do it. I see some fish moving, so it shouldn't take too long to catch some bait. All right, let's go down here. Bait fish. That green sunfish is going on the line. This guy's going on the line. It's not very big, but that's okay. Let's set up the hook setter here. Line one. Green sunfish head. Good luck to you, sir. Catch me a giant, please. Setter is set. I'll try some of this power bait. Power bait, catfish bait. It says the fish hold on 18 times longer. That's a pretty exact measurement. That's what I'm gonna put on number two. I'm gonna put a little bit of dough bait. Give them the buffet line here. And to mix things up even more, I'm gonna put this on a bobber. So we're giving them a little bit of everything. I got just got a little slip bobber here. And I think I'm gonna set it at about four feet, which is enough to keep it off the bottom. Just above the bottom, like right there maybe. Looks good. I'm gonna put that one over here. There we go. Hooks that are going off. Hooks that are going off. That didn't take long at all. Man, oh man, that did not take long. He just about took the hooks that are in the water. Dang. Nice little cat to start off. Man, that did not take long. Hope he did not swallow it. Little guy. But we got him. He's not bad. Three pounder. Oh, yeah, there we go. Man, I just set that out. Just got my line set out. It's a good sign. Nice fat little two and a half, three pound channel cat. Thanks, dude. Oh, it's going back on shore. That was like three minutes on this green sunfish head so I thought we were going to get a big fish based on the way he was peeling mine all right fish might be biting okay set again we're getting lots of bites but they are somewhat finicky some gar here. Oh, got one on the hook setter. I got a double. I got a double right here. Got one on the hook setter. Yep, I got a double. Holy crap, this is crazy. This is crazy. Those fish pit at the same time. This is ridiculous. Got one. I'm holding one between my legs. 
this other fish might have gotten away. I'm not sure if the second fish got away or not. This one feels pretty good. Let's just try and land one and then we'll deal with the other one. Oh yeah, that's a nice catfish. This is hectic. The other one must have gotten away. I didn't have tension on him. Okay, this is a big fish. Really nice fish. I'm gonna try and beach him. All right, he's beached. Four or five pounder. Five pounder, probably. Lost the other one. Darn it, almost had a double. Had them both hooked. This is a nice, nicely built channel cat. That hook setter caught him real nicely. That's why we use the hook setter. I was messing with my other pole and this guy bit. Oh, shoot. See ya, man. Not the best release, but there he goes. Darn it, I had a double. <laughs> that was crazy. Couldn't keep pressure on the other one. I had the rod between my legs and obviously wasn't hooked that great. It turns out though, one little piece of bait for the doe bait is better than two. That nice four or five pounder came on the cut bait. They are active right now. All right, well, this green sunfish head has seen better days, but it's caught two nice catfish so far. So I'm gonna hook it up again. See if we can get three. So the hook setter has two. I always like catching them with this thing. Okay. That's set and ready to go. Got one going here. Got him. Got him. Got him. I messed with it for a long time, but I got him. Look at this is the big one. This is the biggest one yet, I think. Oh yeah, this is a big gnarly one. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. Look at that guy. Shoot, man. We're getting bigger. Oh man. That is a big gnarly one. Got him unhooked. Ah, come on, man. Let me get a look at you. Ah, yes. Okay, do we see him? Because I gotta put him back. There he goes. Yeah. The grease ball he was. I could not hold him. Couldn't hold on to him. Alright. It's fast and furious action right now. So what do we got? Oh, I got one on the hook setter. Shoot! Hook setter. Jesus, it's getting crazy. This is getting crazy. Yep, he's on there. He's on there. My line's a little bit wrapped up. This is crazy. Can't tell how big he is yet. Feels good. Let's see if we can beat that last one. Let's see. Get a bigger one than the last one. This is like three fish that that one bluegill head has caught. Oh, not that big. Not as big as the last one. Oh, it's not a big one. Just fought the hardest. All right. There we go. Sandy channel cat. What do we have? Four fish? Five fish? Can't remember what I'm up to. Sunfish head just keeps catching them, so I'll keep throwing it back out. The hook setter has caught three fish already. Three for three on strikes. We haven't missed any. Sometimes they'll set it off and then not have the bait in their mouth, but we haven't had any of those yet. 
It's turning into a good comparison video between doe bait and cut bait. I can't remember how many we have. We have three on the hook setter. I think we have two on the doe bait. But right now, it doesn't seem like they care what I'm throwing at them. They're hitting both. All right, so I'm gonna set up the fly rod here. Let's see what I can catch on the fly rod. So I got a little black woolly bugger. I'm gonna see if I can get a bass or certainly I can get a sunfish on here. All right, the catfish bite slowed down a little bit. So I'm gonna go to plan B. I got my fly rod with the woolly bugger tied on. And I'm gonna put this paddle board in the water and paddle over to this cove. It's a little, little drainage ditch thing where I saw some bass yesterday when I was paddle boarding and make some casts. They're sitting in about six inches of water where they were yesterday. So I need a stealthy approach. Maybe this is, this is the best stealthy approach I can have. Because you can't just walk up on the bank and get them. Alright, let us see if we can make this happen. Okay. Something's coming after it. Looks like something was waking on it. I see something way back there. What is that? I think I'm spooking it. Ooh, got to sit right on top of him. Got him. What is that? What is that? It doesn't feel very big. It's running at me. What are you? Oh, there he goes. Oh, bass. Cool. He's not too bad. Landed it right on his head. He ate it. Cool. Paddleboard bass. Man, he swallowed that thing. Come on board. Come on board, man. It's not bad. Not a bad fly rod bass. Nice little chunky specimen there. Look at that guy. I'm gonna hook fell right out. Nice little fat, pudgy one. All right, they were sitting right at the back of this. Let's see if we can get another one. Oh, it's in here. Oh, oh, what's, oh there's an, oh, oh, some nice bass, shoot. Just had a nice bass scoot past me. I'm stuck on a rock. Man, there's some nice fish in here. Okay, I just set up the hex hook setter again. Paddle boarding mission only yielded one bass. So I got the hook setter set up again for a few more minutes until I run out of battery power. And then I'm probably gonna go in and eat breakfast. Took some rods up to the garage and what do you know? I think I got one in the hook setter. Yeah, little tiny one. So it's been, oh no, I got a gar, sweet. I got a gar. That's what's been messing with me. Look at this guy. First gar I've caught in a long time. Pretty cool. I don't know how I hooked him. Let's, let's, let's see how I hooked him. Oh man. Let's see how I hooked him here. I'm not going to get close to those teeth, that's for sure. It was wrapped around his mouth. It wasn't even in his mouth. That's what's been messing with me though. Ouch. There he goes. See you, Mr. Gar. <laughs> well, the hook setter got him. Not sure how. He was hooked real weird, but that was cool. <laughs> Three species today, not too bad. There you go, Karsten. There you go. It's a big one. I just know it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I see it. Got some run in it.
Get some leverage, there you go. Then winch it, here. Here, here. Hold it up like this. Now reel down to him. And then, there. You almost got him. Yeah, it is. It's a, it's a, it's a nice one. It's a nice Nice one. Nice one, Carson. Here, hold one. Look, look right here. Look right here. Carson, put your, at least touch it. Put your hand up there. Chris is holding on for dear life right here. Okay, there you go. Okay, good job. Nice. This stuff's going to rain down on us here. There, I got him. Tiff. Tiff. My hook setter just went off. I cast it back out. I cast it back out, and as soon as it touched the bottom, he grabbed it. Whoa. <laughs> Catching catfish and shooting off fireworks. This is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Come to America. Not a very big one. Not bad. Oh, about, 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 the, about the typical size. He's not bad. Man, he looks like he's been caught before. Did we get this one before? There we go. There we go, yeah. Yeah. Like camera on and everything. There he goes. Fireworks and catfish. That's how we do it. <laughs> 